A very warm welcome to everyone. Today we are going to discuss chapter number 1 resources. Here we will explore important questions and concepts based on chapter number 1. In this video we will cover the whole chapter. So let's get started. As question number 1 you can see that anything that can satisfy our need what it is called. So the useful things are called resources. All those things which we use in our daily life which are essential for the human survival those things are called resource can you give me the example of the resources like water is a resource because it quenches our thirst like trees are resources because they give oxygen to us and different products to us soil is a resource because it helps in cultivating the crops right so these things are resources utility and value makes anything resource and they all resources are essential while for the useful things we don't use the term like sources or goods so this is why option number b and c are wrong now let's move to the question number two the question number two is which of the following is a biotic resource so biotic resources are those resources which we get from the living beings right those these resources are also called living resources or organic resources so here trees are living forests are living so amazon rainforest are biotic sources while option number a b and d are wrong because mineral sunlight and air these all are abiotic resources right so here for the option number two answer would be c amazon rainforest are biotic sources next is number three question very easy which of the following product can be recycled you know so most of the minerals can be recycled like iron can be recycled copper gold all these things all these minerals can be recycled so for the answer would be d iron while petrol coal and cng they cannot be recycled they get exhausted after use so they are exhaustible resource they cannot be recycled although iron is also a uh, exhaustible resource but it can be recycled so keep in mind minerals are generally recyclable okay so now let's see what is question number four question number four is air is an example of which of these resources no so biotic resource is a first option it is wrong because air is a biotic resource it is non-living so air is a biotic resource while option number say a is saying it's a biotic resource so this is wrong option number c is saying air is a non-renewable resource this is wrong because air get renewed through the different kind of cycles like hydrogen cycle carbon cycle different cycles are there in the nature they renew the air plants renew the air right they absorb the carbon dioxide and give us oxygen so air is a renewable resource while option number d is saying that the air is localized resource so this option is again a wrong option because air is a universal resource or ubiquitous resource which is found everywhere so option number b would be correct ubiquitous resources are those resources which are found everywhere like sunlight soil air these all are ubiquitous resources because they are found everywhere for question number four answer would be b ubiquitous resources i think it's clear to you number five let's see what it is question number five is which of the following resources don't get exhausted after continuous use right to which of the following resources don't finished means resources which don't get don't finish those resources what they are called after the continuous use so here answer b would be correct renewable resources because renewable resources get renewed right through the physical chemical and biological processes so here those resources which don't get exhausted are called renewable resources. There's a one more term we can use for this that those resources are also called inexhaustible resource, right? So like the forest trees are inexhaustible resource, air is an inexhaustible resource, air is a renewable resource. So these both terms keep in mind renewable resources and inexhaustible resources are same. While option number A is saying it is a localized resource, it's wrong. Exhaustible resource get exhausted. So this is also wrong so here answer for question number five would be renewable resources now let's see here one more easy question this is question number six which of the following is a human made resource human made resources are those resources which humans have created right by modifying by using their knowledge and skills humans work on the natural resources and they modify them and make them the resources those resources are called human made resources like uh, soil silver mango these all things are created by the nature humans don't have 
any role in the formation of the soil, in the formation of the silver, in the formation of the mango. So here option number C would be correct. Vaccine to treat corona, medicine to treat corona would be a human made resource. Right? Uh, like if I want to give you the example, like carpenter takes the wood from the nature, right? And uses his knowledge and skills and convert it into the table, chair and cupboard. So table, chair and cupboard are human made. Now, now let's move to the next question question number seven who among the following can make the best use of the natural resources so here obviously answer is human beings human beings have the knowledge and they can make their use their knowledge to convert the resources so humans can make the best use of the natural resources while computers are useless without the humans man is an incomplete term right it has to include the women as well this is why this option number c is wrong while animals can't make the best use of the resources so here answer would be b humans can make the best use of the resources what is question number eight it is which of the following day is celebrated as the art day so everyone knows april 22 22 april is celebrated as the art day while this option number a 28 February what do we celebrate on this day we celebrate science day on this day right 22 March 22 March what do we celebrate do you know that we celebrate world water day on 22 March right and on 16 October we celebrate world food day because FAO was founded on this day right so here art day is celebrated on 22 april now question number nine it is all resources that are obtained from the nature can be termed as so whatever we get from the nature those are natural resources this is one of the easy questions so answer would be the natural resources resources which are obtained from nature are natural resource while abiotic resources we obtain from the non-living thing and human resources include the quantity and the quality of the human being relative to the humans and human made resources are those resources which which humans create right so option number a b c are wrong while option number d is correct that all those resources which are obtained from the nature are called natural resources very good i think it's clear to all of you now question number 10 is which of the following is not classified on the basis of the development on the basis of the development resources can be actual and potential inside the category of the actual resource and potential resource inside the category of the potential resource there is one more category those are called reserves reserve resources so these all are the categories on the basis of the development means actual potential and reserves while renewable resource or non-renewable resource these are the categories inside the renewability means on the basis of the renewability there can be two types of resources renewable and non-renewable resources so here what we will take we take that answer number b is correct option number b is suitable for us right so it is clear to you so actual potential and reserve are resources on the basis of the development of the resources actual resources which we use in the present time potential resources and reserves can be used in the future okay now question number 11 it is which of the following does not make the substance a resource so two things are very important value and utility makes anything resource so they can different kind of value economic value aesthetic value religious value right or utility these all things value and utility aesthetic value also makes anything resource like painting economic value like the paper currency right it, con it contains economic value this is why it is a resource and utility means uh, it satisfies our need this is why they are resources so these things has to be there to be a resource value and utility while quantity doesn't make anything resource there are so many things which are there in the nature but they are not useful to us so they cannot be termed as resources so here we will take option number a 11 quantity now 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रिसोर्सेज आर ऑल्सो नोन एज इनऑर्गेनिक रिसोर्सेज इनऑर्गेनिक रिसोर्सेज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर इन दिस वीडियो इन ऑर्गेनिक मीन्स नॉन लिविंग रिसोर्सेज इन ऑर्गेनिक मीन्स अबायोटिक रिसोर्सेज सो हियर वी विल टेक ऑप्शन नंबर डी अबायोटिक रिसोर्सेज वाइल ऑप्शन नंबर ए के इज नॉट करेक्ट बिकॉज बायोटिक रिसोर्सेज आर लिविंग रिसोर्सेज दे आर नॉट इनऑर्गेनिक रिसोर्सेज बायोटिक रिसोर्सेज आर ऑर्गेनिक रिसोर्सेज वी गैट दैम फ्रॉम द biosphere localized resources are found at certain places right so this is also incorrect and human resources we cannot take it so here the correct answer is inorganic resources are also called abiotic resources or non living resources like air soil water right these all things are inorganic resources minerals iron copper right silver gold these all are inorganic resources i hope it's clear now moving to the question number 13 little bit longer let's see what it is which of the following statement is wrong about the actual resource right so actual resources are those resources which we are using in the present let's see what are the options option number a these resources are in use at present this is correct about the actual resource option number b quantity and quality of these resources are properly known at at present yes we know the quantity and quality of the actual resources this is why this option is also correct about the actual resources and option number d these resources are also called developed resources this is also correct about the actual resource while the statement c is not correct about the actual resource we don't have the knowledge and skills to utilize these resources this is not correct about the actual resource this is correct about the potential resources right so this is why we will tick here c right we don't have the non knowledge and skills to utilize these resources this is statement is wrong about the actual resource right now moving to the next question this is question number 14 you can see that resources which can be renewed or reproduced by the physical chemical or mechanical processes what they are called they are called inexhaustible resources or you can say i told you renewable resources so these resources are get renewed right in a shorter period of time and nature has the different processes like water cycle right polluted water get renewed right through the water cycle right hydrogen cycle carbon cycle there are different there are different processes running in the nature right they reproduce them they regenerate them so this is why inexhaustible resources is correct option because it doesn't they these resources don't get exhausted these resources don't don't uh, don't end up right so this is why inexhaustible resources is correct answer why localized abiotic and exhaustible resource these all are wrong answers because exhaustible resources get exhausted like petroleum get exhausted after use now next mcq and the last mcq for this video is development of the resources without damaging the environment to need the needs of the present and future generation what do we call it we call it sustainable development it's, it sustains for a longer period of time right and it's very essential for the human beings right brings peace prosperity development right this all happens right when we do not over exploit the resources that it is sustainable development so sustainable development we don't damage the nature we don't damage the environment right we and and we keep in mind the needs of the future generation as well right so it is a rational utilization of the resources which brings the development for longer period of time so here it doesn't uh, damage the environment right and which keeps in mind the demands of the future and present right that kind of development is a sustainable development while option number b is wrong unsustainable development this is wrong right unsustainable development wouldn't think of would not think about the future right social development is related with the society and emotional development is related with the development of the human emotions right so here option number a is correct right without damaging the environment to meet the needs of present and future generation that kind of development is a sustainable development now let's do some of the fill in the blanks very very easy right try to solve them take out your pen and paper and write them fast let's see what are which is the number 1 Yes, you are using the resources carefully without wasting them. What it is called? Fill your answer for one. Number two, humans use what or what to develop the resources? Write your answers. Number three, inexhaustible resources are also called dash resources, resources which are obtained from the non-living things. What are they called? And human resources include dash and dash of the people. Now let's see what are the answers. I hope all of you have done that. 
so here in the first one would be the resource conservation means using resources carefully without wasting them or to save them right this is resource conservation right next question number two humans what they do they do they use their knowledge and skills i gave you the example of the carpenter so you remember i hope humans use their knowledge and skills to develop the resources this is correct now number three exhaustible resources are also called what they are called renewable resources next question next fourth fourth number is resources which are obtained from the biosphere they are called biotech resources i know you know it number five is human resources include what do what it include include the quantity and the quality of the human beings right so there we did the fill ups now it's time to do the true and false very easy we must not misuse the natural resources number two write fast write fast on your copies true or false number two potential resources are developed resources is it true or false sustainable development is unplanned irrational development of the resources india is a developed country and resources that are found in certain places are called ubiquitous resources let's see what are the answers answer is we must not misuse the natural resources correct because they are limited they are some of them are uh, exhaustible so we should not misuse we should conserve them we should protect them we should take care of take care about them so this option is correct we should not misuse the natural resources right don't waste the water don't waste, waste electricity right okay so uh, potential resources are developed resources this is also false because they are not developed yet right they can be utilized in the future so potential resources are undeveloped resources they are not developed yet developed resources are actual resources so this statement is false number three sustainable development is unplanned development of the resources this is again a false statement because sustainable development is a well-planned development it's a rational development which keeps the which keeps the uh, and keeps in mind the demands of the future as well as present generations okay number four is india is a developed country this is wrong because india is a third world country it is developing right it is still developing number five is resources that are found at certain places those resources are called localized resource while it is here it is written ubiquitous resource. so this option is again a false statement next is uh, we are going to do some of the matchup right match the following taj mahal what it is human resource non-renewable resource ubiquitous resource or human made resource Source. now tick them fast do it in your copies right so what is sunlight is it is non-renewable or ubiquitous resource what is petroleum right so this all you just match up them fast now let's see i hope you did it uh, what is the answer taj mahal is a human made resource built by shah jahan right humans made it so taj mahal is a human made resource sunlight is found everywhere so sunlight would be a one fast ubiquitous resource and doctors are human resource like engineer right and teachers right uh, workers laborers right these all people are scientists these all people are human resources right and the petrol get exhausted it doesn't renew itself so this is why option number d would match with the two with the number two it is so petroleum is a non-renewable resource it was easy i know next is uh, thanks for watching don't miss any video subscribe the channel if you have any query any question you can ask i would be happy to help you thanks for watching learn more score better see you in the next video